Hey everybody, welcome to Contra Thoughts. My name is Richard, and we've got Justin Peters versus the Babylon Bee coming up next. An interview of Elon Musk, billionaire, entrepreneur, all around weirdo guy, but really interesting nonetheless, Elon Musk. The Babylon Bee, the satire website, it's been around for a long time, interviewed him. They sat down three guys with Babylon. Uh, with Elon Musk. One of their most popular videos, I think, if not the most popular video, I think it's at like almost 2 million views when I record this. So very, very popular. He sat down with them for whatever reason. I'm sure he knows about them and all the rest. Uh, at least, you know, he does now, of course, right? Why he did it, who knows? But for all intents and purposes, Elon Musk is not a Christian. But they interviewed him, talked about a bunch of things, talked about him making candy, him being Batman, and this and this, and and have you seen, you know, uh, science fiction movies? And of course he answers no, you know, cause he's building the Tesla bot and you know, it's going to take over the world and Terminator and matrix and all. like, it's a tongue in cheek interview from my understanding. Now I could be wrong, but Justin Peters, love Justin Peters, been doing ministry for a long time, long, far longer than me. Very experienced, very convictional, love the guy. I think he went a little overboard with his quick analysis. Uh, although it was a 45 minute video he did. So I'm very quick, but he did an analysis of it and was very impassioned. I've got a clip, but before we get there, what does the Babylon Bee website say? What does it say? Well, it says, your trusted source for Christian news, satire. So it's satire. It's in the title, right off the bat. Now, again, they're not a ministry, although one of the guys, Ethan Nicole, the blonde guy with the beard, does say we're a Christian organization. But he's so dry and so witty, and as one who's dry, and I've been told to be I've been witty in the past that sometimes it's hard to tell. And if you take everything super, super literally, or you're just really sensitive to everything because there's, you know, heresy raging around everywhere, then you might have a reaction like Justin Peters. And if you go on his video, which you might've seen, you might've seen this uh, Babylon Bee interview. You might not know what the heck I'm talking about, but the Babylon Bee is the world's best satire site. Totally inerrant in all its truth claims. What? 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 <laughs> Nobody has a problem with that. Has anybody done this, an interview or um, a review of this? No, they haven't. Somehow people think God didn't create humor, right? Or that humor, like other things, you know, married activities between a man and a woman, are bad or sinful or not good. Because it's dirty and weird. And it's like God made these things. Okay. So God made humor. You know, we've heard the phrase, oh, God must have a sense of humor. And then some people are so like brussel, bristled and just, uh, and they get all weirded out. We write satire about Christian stuff, political stuff in everyday life. Talks about being created on the eighth day, ex nihilo, exactly 6,000 years ago, right? Nobody says, as a recent creationist, myself or other people, Ken Ham, those people uh, and the like, don't say that the earth was created exactly. I give a ballpark of six to 10,000 myself. But anyway, they're saying exactly. We're the best satire website, on and on and on. They're obviously being sarcastic. They're being satirical, right? Sarcastic is probably not the best word, really, because that actually means... Uh, the intent of harm and, and mocking. Not the same thing. We would focus on just the facts, leaving spin and bias to other news sites like CNN and Fox News. Right? So, right there, we know what they are. Now, again, Ethan Nicole, in the interview, does say we're a Christian ministry. He talks about this. Elon Musk brings up, why are we meeting on Sunday? And you guys are a bunch of heathens. And they're like, oh, we went to Zoom Church, blah, blah, blah. Again, they're mocking Zoom Church. I guarantee you, if you talk to any of these guys, seriously... They not only don't believe Zoom Church is real church, they don't believe that this is really Elon Musk turning to Christ. Because really, they didn't share the gospel, right? Now, Justin Peters does have a good point. What is this, this and this? They didn't share the gospel here. They didn't proclaim the good news to Elon Musk of the life, death, and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The flawless life where he defeated both sin and death and our sins being washed away and then given new life. That's the great transaction, right? It's not just new life. It's not just new life or sins forgiven. It's both. That's what's so amazing because you like me are a sinner. Everybody's sinner. All have fallen short of the glory of God. Everybody. 
including Elon Musk, who's a billionaire. Keep that in mind. I've never talked to any billionaires, at least not willingly or knowingly. I doubt you have either. <clears throat> and somebody as eclectic and strange as Elon Musk would be very intimidating. Now, again, they invited him. And he's probably a bet, better conversational partner than you know Jeff Bezos or Mark Zuckerberg. But regardless, or Bill Gates, my goodness, uh, I'd be terrified of Bill Gates. Probably like stab me with some you know new concoction he's got going. Um, see, that's satire. That's funny, right? It probably wasn't funny. The point is, the Babylon Bee is not a regular quote unquote news organization. They're not Dateline. They're not 2020. They're not sitting down, you know, Tucker Carlson style or or uh, you know somebody else. I almost said somebody from CNN, but nobody from CNN can be taken seriously. Let's listen to Justin Peters' quick assessment. He talks about this. This is from the uh, Doctrinal Watchdog website. Um, but hey, if um, you know, if if, if Jesus is, is uh, saving people, I mean, I, I I wouldn't stand in his way. You know, like they'll be true. I'll be safe. Why not? Sweet, we did it. Yeah. I think you just said yes. We got him. All right, we got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> what? I think you just said yes. Hey, we got him. Praise the Lord. What? What are you talking about? We got him. What are you talking about? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for what? For what? You just sat there and listened to Elon Musk give you his basically pantheistic view of God in that Jesus is just a, a moral teacher who spun some good yarns and did some nice things. There's no difference between that Jesus and, and Gandhi. And, and they said, we, oh, we got him? Praise the Lord? Are you kidding me? All right. No, that wasn't the gospel. They didn't share the gospel. They didn't proclaim it. It's not even in that clip. But basically, they're talking about before he, Ethan Nichols says we're Christian ministry, and you know we you could do us a solid and accept Jesus into your heart. Now again, these men know enough, and I don't think they're squishy wishy washy. I believe they're real believers, uh, at least from you know the years of me paying attention to them, how they speak, their mannerisms, what they talk about, and everything else. But they're a satire website. Okay, it's a joke. Now, is it a good joke? No, it's not a good joke. And there's where I would push back and say, you know, in this battle of back and forth, Justin Peters has landed several blows. This isn't a joke, right? Salvation isn't a joke. Now, God, again, invented humor. But should we joke about people's eternal um, security? Maybe they talked to Elon Musk afterward. Hopefully they did. Hopefully they said, you know, who is Jesus really? Because he talks about being a moral teacher and a lot of people will defer to this. Oh, I love Jesus' teachings, blah, blah, blah. But he's not just a moral teacher, right? Because he also said that he was God. He also, moral teachers don't lie, right? Um, Gandhi never said he was God. Buddha never said he was God. Muhammad never said he was God. Joseph Smith never said he was God. And so a lot of these things, they do matter. Right. But again, this is a satire website. Right. Was it a good joke? No, it wasn't a good joke. They didn't share the gospel with him. They didn't proclaim the good news to the captive Elon Musk. Now, again, I've never talked to a billionaire. You haven't either, probably. And so the intimidation factor alone would be enough. But they seem to be fine with it. And, you know, they've been around for a long time as far as interviewing and talking to different people and everything else. So maybe they weren't nervous. Probably they were. Probably they were. And maybe they meant to share more. Maybe they meant to be more specific. But they don't believe what they said. But it's also then confusing for the 2 million people, because certainly not all 2 million views of those were Christians. right? And that's where I would say that they have a certain level of responsibility to have shared and proclaimed the good news that, well, Jesus wasn't just a moral teacher, but he was actually he claimed to be God. And if that's true... That has ramifications. It's not a middle ground of whatever. You know, Jesus saving people. He does save people. But we have to repent and believe. This side of eternity, and too many people are concerned with, you know, eternity past and this and that and the whole divine counsel and decrees of God. Worry about you. If you haven't repented and believed, audience, if, if you're watching this 
and you haven't repented and believed, <coughs> excuse me, turn to Christ. He's better than your sin. He's bigger and better than your sin. His mercy is greater. He not only washes you clean, but also gives you new life. Maybe I'm wrong about Elon Musk. Maybe I'm wrong about the Babylon Bee. Maybe they were proclaiming the gospel, sharing the good news with him, and they just failed. I don't know. Drop a comment. Let me know. Tell me if that's the case. If, did, did they really do that? Am I wrong? Am I, is Justin Peters right? Is he 100% correct? We should never joke about this. We should never have a sense of humor. This is not something to trifle with. Or are they right? Somewhere in between. Let me know. Please let me know in the comments below. And do like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, it really does um, help the algorithm. It gives me a boost of confidence and self-esteem. See? That's satire. That's, that's satirical. But it really does. No, I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed and liked, uh, it's at least subscribed or liked or both. You know, do all the youtube -y stuff, all the buttons. There's a few buttons. They're all free, right? You don't have to, like, pay anything. Goal of this channel is to be against the world but for the world. Contramundo pro mundo. My name is Richard Contramundum. Richard against the world. And I'm helping you. My desire is to help you be against the world, too. To see these things, both in the world, the Elon Musk interview, and then the responses to the Elon Musk interview and things like it. To be better discerning, be a better follower of Christ. And if you're not a follower of Christ, to urge you and proclaim to you, repent and believe. Turn from your filthy wickedness, your, 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 your unrepentant heart. To the living God, not the God of your phone, not the God of celebrity, not the gods of whatever, secular humanism, but the living God, the one who upholds all things by the word of his power. All right, until next time, we'll see you later.